especially resistance to resistivity. We will discuss the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. Resistance of a conductor depends on the length of the conductor. In this fashion, R is proportional to L. More the length, more the resistance. If length will increase, resistance will also increase. We can understand it. If wire is very short in length, then less collision, so lower resistance. If there is a long wire, more collision and higher resistance. Resistance depends on area of cross section. Resistance is inversely proportional to area of cross section. If area of cross section will increase, resistance will decrease. We can think it big cross section area, it means less collision, less collision, so low resistance. It means we are increasing the area, resistance is decreasing. A small cross section area means more collision, more collision means higher resistance. Similarly, resistance depends on the material of, material of a conductor. Different different material has a different different number of electrons per unit volume. So resistance depends on different different nature of material also. Temperature. Resistance of the metal increases on increasing the temperature and decreases on decreasing the temperature. So we will say resistance of a conductor also depends on the material of a conductor. The resistance of the nichrome wire is 60 times more than that of the copper wire as nichrome has the high electrical resistance. The resistance of the all pure metal increases on increasing the temperature and decreases on decreasing the temperature. If we say this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2, we combine both the equations, we will write R is proportional to L upon A. We remove the proportional and we put the constant, here constant is the rho, R equal to rho L upon A. This is the symbol, it is known as the rho. This rho is constant of proportionality and it is called resistivity of the material of the conductor. Definition of resistivity. According to formula, R equal to rho L upon A, if L equal to 1 meter, area is 1 meter square, we will say R equal to rho or you can say rho equal to R. So, specific resistance or resistivity is the resistance of the wire of that material of unit length and unit cross section area when a known quantity of voltage is applied across its end, SI unit. Again, we will use the formula R equal to rho L upon A. Rho is the resistivity, it will be written as R into A upon L. R is the resistance, it is measured in ohm, area in meter square, length in meter, we can cancel 1 meter. So, unit of resistivity is known as the ohm meter. So, ohm meter is the unit of the specific resistance or resistivity. Factors on which resistance or big specific resistance depend. The resistivity of a material depends on its nature, its temperature of the conductor, but not on its shape and size. A good, good conductor has less resistivity, whereas bad conductor or insulator has a high resistivity. The resistivity of the semiconductor lies between that of conductor and insulator. Most important thing, it is the characteristic property of the material. If it is a copper wire, it doesn't matter. This amount of the length is using, this amount of the length is using, this amount of the cross section area we are using, or we can increase the amount of cross section area, but resistance, sorry, resistivity is the property of the material, so it is fixed. If it is a copper, either you increase the length, you increase the area of cross section, resistivity will remain constant. Mind it. Resistivity of an alloy is generally higher than that of its constituents material. Tungsten is also used for filament of electric bulbs, whereas copper and aluminum are generally used for electrical transmission lines.